Are you worried about variants? So looking out into the future, are you? What, what's your vision for all the possible trajectories that this virus takes in human society? I'm totally worried about the variants. Delta was such an impressive arrival on the scene in all the wrong ways. I mean, it took over the world yeah. <laughs> in the space of just a couple months because of its extremely contagious ability. Viruses would be beautiful if they weren't terrifying. Yeah, exactly. I mean, this whole story of viral evolution, scientifically, is just amazingly elegant. Anybody who really wanted to understand how evolution works in real time, study SARS-CoV-2. Because <laughs> it's not just Delta, it's Alpha, <laughs> and it's Beta, and it's Gamma, and it's uh, the fact that these sweep through uh, the world's population by fairly minor differences in fitness. So the real question many people are wrestling is, is Delta it? it, is, it is it such a fit virus that nothing else will be able to displace it? Mm. I don't know. I mean, there's now Delta AY4, which is a variant of Delta that at least in the UK seems to be taking over the Delta population as though it's maybe even a little more contagious. That might be the first hint uh, that we're seeing something new here. It's not a completely different virus. It's still Delta, but it's Delta plus. You know, the big worry, Lex, is what's out there that is so different that the vaccine protection doesn't work. <laughs> and we don't know how different it needs to be for the vaccine to stop working. That's the, that's the terrifying thing about each of these variants. It's like, uh, it's always a pleasant surprise that the vaccine seems to have, still have efficacy. And hooray for our immune system, may I say, <laughs> because the vaccine immunized you against that original Wuhan virus. Um, now we can see that especially after two doses and even more so after a booster, your immune system is so clever that it's also making a diversity of antibodies mm -hmm. to cover some other things that might happen to that virus to make it a little different. And you're still getting really good coverage. Uh, even for beta, which was uh, South Africa, B1351, which is the most different, it looks pretty good. But that doesn't mean it will always be as good as that if something gets really far away from the original virus. Now, the good news is we would know what to do in that situation. The mRNA vaccines allow you to redesign the vaccine like that mm -hmm. and to quickly get it through a few thousand participants in a clinical trial to be sure it's raising antibodies, and then bang, you could go. But I don't want to have to do that. <laughs> there will be people's lives at risk in the meantime. And what's the best way to keep that from happening? Well, to try to, try to cut down the number of infections. <laughs> because you don't get variants unless the virus is replicating in a person.